Hey guys, in this video I will be updating my Sony Xperia XA Ultra to Android Nougat. And after the update is complete, I will go through each and every new feature that you get with this Android Nougat update. So let's begin. At the moment, the Xperia XA Ultra is running Android Marshmallow. So I show you about phone, Android 6. And the uh, Android Nougat update should bring new features like the multi-window multitasking, improved battery life and especially manual settings in the camera. So let me give you a quick demo of the split screen multitasking. So you can see these are two apps running on my Xperia. You drag and drop it over here. And now you can see we are using two apps at the same time. The web browser and the uh, album app is running simultaneously. And secondly, this update should also bring manual settings to the camera. So right now you can see we are in manual mode, but there is no manual focus or manual exposure. But, but the Xperia XZ Premium has manual shutter speed, as you can see over here, and manual focus settings. And this update should also bring the exact same settings to the Xperia XA Ultra. So we're gonna go ahead and continue the software update. It's prompting me, so I'm gonna tap continue, install now. And the phone will restart. And by the way guys, when you're doing this, make sure your battery is charged up to at least 98%. Alright guys, so here we are, the Xperia XA Ultra has been updated to Android Nougat. So if we go to About Phone, we can see the Android version here, Android 7, which is Android Nougat and we get a security patch level of 5th May 2017. So guys, in this video, I will show you all the new features that you get on the Xperia XA Ultra with the Android Nougat update. So the first change you'll notice after you've updated your phone is that the drop down notification bar is slightly different. So here we have this quick action icons you can turn on and off your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, turn on torch. You have this flight mode, auto rotate and if we drop the notification bar down even further you can see the standard Android quick settings are here. And by the way you can edit all of this so if you don't want torch you can just drag and drop it over here and say you want hotspot setting in your quick menu just drag and drop over there press back and now you can see there is a hotspot icon over here now the second big change is with the camera app once you launch the camera and switch to manual mode you can see we get full manual settings over here so we get the shutter speed control which I think is pretty cool you can use this to click photographs in low light so you get maximum of one second shutter exposure and finally we get the manual focus settings. So if you turn off auto, you can see this is set to infinity and this is set to macro. And I think manual focus can be best demonstrated over here like this. So you can see right now it's set to infinity. If I put it to macro, you can see the image becomes clear. And rest of the camera features are exactly the same like they were on Android Marshmallow. So you do get that superior auto mode, you get the video mode and you get the additional camera apps. And I think the camera performance is also uh, exactly the same like it was before. You can see I'm clicking some pictures and it seems to work fine. You can see selective focus works fine, absolutely no problems. And I think for the most part, picture quality will be exactly the same as it was on Android Marshmallow because uh, it is essentially the same camera sensor. And split screen multitasking is also now available on the Xperia XA Ultra with this NuGet update. So let me quickly give you guys a demonstration of that. So now you can see Chrome web browser is running. I'm going to launch a couple of apps. So to use the split screen multitasking, you need to press this recent key. Now you can see the list of apps that I've opened. And all you need to do is press and hold on a particular application and drag over here on the top to use split screen. And the second app, just tap on the application and it will automatically start using split screen mode. Now you can see album and the web browser are running simultaneously. And I think this is pretty darn cool. Because I can look at my pictures, I can work on a web page, watch a review, and look at my pictures over here. Now, unfortunately, there's a slight downside of this because uh, not all of the applications support split screen. For example, Instagram, this application does not support split screen. So, 
let's go back so let's try a different application say album you can see album is running chrome supports so i'm going to close chrome but take a look at this app doesn't support split screen and same with the music app so it kind of sucks because not all of the apps support split screen but yeah some of the apps like uh, some of the important apps like Chrome and Microsoft Office does support split screen so you have that. Another new feature you get on the NuGet update is the ability to rescale the UI. So you, all you need to do is go to settings, go to display, scroll down and select display size. Now this will not change the font size but it will generally decrease the UI element especially this navigation bar. So change from default to small. You can see the navigation bar size has also decreased and same with the top notification bar over here and this will generally give you more uh, space on the screen to work with which I think is a pretty nice addition because uh, since this is a, such a big screen I can easily uh, get used to smaller size icons and smaller size UI elements. You can see there's generally more space to work with but if you want something bigger go ahead and change the display size to large but yeah I don't like this I prefer to keep it at small but when I'm making my videos I keep it at default because it just makes things a little bit easier to read on the camera so guys I think this video will be incomplete if I don't do a multitasking slash performance test slash gaming test so here you can see I've got a couple of applications I'm gonna launch them one by one and then we'll do some multitasking and see how this phone performs but right now I can see that this phone is definitely performing better than it was on Android Marshmallow so first off we have the Subway Surfers game let's go ahead and launch this oh yeah you guys can see definitely the loading time is much better now uh, than it was on the Marshmallow update so here we are in the game I'm gonna minimize this in just a second you know just gonna play it a little bit so here we go I minimize that I'm gonna launch temple run You know what guys, after this Android NuGet update, I think this phone has got a fresh lease of life. It's running absolutely brilliantly. You can see absolutely no problems. The frame rates are butter smooth. Never mind that. Anyways, I'm going to launch the album app. You can see so far the phone is performing like a champ. Obviously guys you can't compare this phone's performance to the XZ Premium but yeah for the phone for its price it is performing absolutely perfectly. And it is getting slightly warm but nothing too hot. So I'm going to try a little bit of multitasking, press this button to see all of the apps. I'm going to go back to the Subway Surfer app and let's see if the app reloads or it loads from the RAM. So here you can see Subway Surfer's app was running in the RAM. Absolutely no issues loading it. Tempo Run 2, again no problems reloading the app. So far so good. Little bit of split screen multitasking. So like I said, the Microsoft apps, for example, Word, Excel, PowerPoint do support split screen multitasking. So let me go ahead and minimize. And this B612 app unfortunately kind of crashes, so I have to turn off the data to launch this app. So 
So again, let's try some multitasking. Let's resume these games. You can see absolutely no problem. RAM management is perfect on this phone. Let's go ahead and resume Tempo Run 2. Again, you can see absolutely no problem. This game was in the RAM and it resumed perfectly without the need for the game to reload uh, from the main memory. Speaking of the main memory, let's see how much uh, free space we've got on the internal memory. So let's scroll down to storage and memory. Around 10 gigabytes of space is being used out of 60 gigabytes. That gives us around 6 gigabytes of space to work with. Not bad. And I think this phone is pretty darn powerful. Even with that mid-range MediaTek processor, this phone is pretty capable of m multitasking. Not bad, not bad at all. And I think the internet connection isn't working properly today. But nonetheless guys, this phone is performing like a beast. So guys, I think that's it for this video. So thank you guys for watching and do stay tuned for more videos like these. And I'll see you guys next time.